Oh, not you lot again. Busy, busy, busy. So I'm just in the roller team. Um, I've had the pre-check back, a couple little bits. I just want to check over and make a list of any jobs that need doing on it so then we can get it on for sale. So I think I've shown you this one really. We've got the fixed bed above, dinette, and a huge dinette oh, bed above. I have shown you this before, so. Ooh, since all this warm weather, it's started to rain. It's quite refreshing, actually. We've got fans everywhere, haven't we? We've got fans everywhere. So, let's have a look at this one. Where are we going? So we've got this one here. This is a customer's van they had offers. He rang us back up. He's got a couple of little jobs he wants us doing. So, he said it's a while now. One of the jobs was he was getting no water coming out. Um, so he's thinking that his pump wasn't working. So, what we did is we went and found the pump, where the pump was, and find out what was happening. And this is what we found. So this is your filter. You see, filter, 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 yep. So then, just look at that there. It's all blown off. So he's had frost damage. So that's the filter on, because obviously we've got the hole there now, every time the pump tries to work, it won't work because we're sucking air in. So it's not actually pumping any water in. So new filter on, good to go. And he hasn't had to pay for a new pump. So that's that one we're checking off. Let's have a nosy along here. Adri, we've got the Adri. I'll show you that in a sec because we've got another customer van here as well. Um, this has come back now. It's got a vehicle service as well. And I think he's just doing a gas test. Oh, do you want me to show you a toy? Look at this. We've got a toy. Look at this. Switch this on. Whoa, I'll exterminate. Exterminate. Now this is a probe for checking for any gas leaks basically. So I'll show you where we're up to with the Andrea and I'll show you how the probe works. So let's go and have a look. Look at this, what we've got now. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, hang on. Push that down. Look at that now. Nice posh telly on. Um, have I broke it? I probably have, haven't I? There you go. Oh, I have broke it. So it comes out, Ooh, la, la. look at that, tally la la, and a big arm goes round. Let's be gentle. This is an Avtex tally. Me personally, I think it's one of the best tallies you can actually get. Um, oh, what have I done now? Let me just get that back. Right, I'm trying to rush. I won't do any more because I don't want to break it. That's a smart TV, so a bit like me, actually. And then what we're also doing, let me just show you, we're putting posh posh wi-fi in as well look at that eh so we've got wi-fi in the van so if you can see we've got the wi-fi dish on the top that's coming now into the van and then we've got the wi-fi so we were going to put it there but me personally um well we all come to the conclusion we didn't like it because one of the things when we're putting things in for people we don't just go right let's just put it there we think about how they're going to use the van and if um in the future just things that they might need or might get on the nerves now. So the reason why I don't want it there is simple. See at the top, there's the SIM cards. And then at the bottom, you've got your ethanol um, inputs. Now, if that van's, if that's in there, it's going to be awkward to either get your SIM out or put in your ports. So we're trying to think of what they do when they're using the van. So if they're going to be watching tally or if they're going to be working on the computer, it's going to be on this area here. So what we thought, if we put it slam bang there, and we're actually not going to mount it, I don't think we're going to mount it on screws, we're going to mount it with, um, what's it called now? Velcro. Velcro, that's it. So if you needed to swap your sim over, take it off, swap it over, or if you needed to get the ethanol there, or if you want to get another signal, at least you can, and we're just thinking that what might happen in the future. So we're going to put it in there, but life is never that simple, is it? Doesn't, does it? No. No. I'm talking to the viewers, not you. It's all about <laughs> you. So they're the leads. They plug in into there, like that. It's easy then, isn't it? So we put that in and we plug. Oh, oh, hang on. Won't reach, will it? Won't reach. So don't worry, don't panic. I've tech, rang them up. I said, this is the problem. They said, no problems. Don't worry, Chase. We will send you out extensions. 
So they sent me out to extension. Yeah! So that's service, like that. That's what you get from Abtec. Not sponsoring them or anything, but I find them a really good company. The stuff isn't cheap, but you pay for what you get at the end of the day. So, there you go. So we're just in the process of doing that. Actually, I'm waiting for the extensions to come. Um, the van's more or less done. Um, what else was it? Oh, toy, toy, toy. So this is for checking gas. Uh, what we do is we put it on. And then what you do, you just get it, see, just get it so it's on there like that. That's what I like to do. And we can go around checking for any gas leaks. So let's pretend we've got a gas leak. See, I'll switch that on. Oh, oh, we've got a gas leak. Now you have to be careful when you're doing this test is because don't forget, um, LPG is heavier than air. So if you're checking pipes and everything, if you've got a leak here, say, let's say, say, say there's a leak on the pipe underneath here and you're checking down the ear, basically the gas is going to drop down anyway. So you have to start at the top. So you get it in the back of the pipes and just work your way down. If you understood all that, if you can hear me actually, I'll turn that off. So yeah, you just gotta work your way down because obviously if you just start from the bottom, the gas is dropped down and if there was a pipe down there, you'd be thinking, oh, the gas leaks there. Well, it might not be, it might be above. I'll tell you what we'll do. We've just had a little beauty coming. So check this out, it's the bay leak. We've just had in a 2021 and it's an Adamo. Adamo or Adamo. So it is raining. Let's go inside. Let's have a wander around first. And then let's go inside. Look at that. 2021 bunny. Let's go have a look inside. Oh, you're there. Yeah. Keep sneaking off. Right. Oh, this is nice. Um, let's get it working, eh? Get some lights on it. So, it bugs me when they close like that. Isn't this different? So, right, let's start at the front end. It's on the Ford chassis. Basically, um, and look at that, we're automatic and it's done 998 miles. So it's done nothing, has it? So we've got good size um, bed seats here. I don't know, I'm not really able to play with them yet. Oh, look underneath. So we have got seat belts. So we are looking at a full berth. Yeah, there's seat belts there. But when we do a proper review, We'll have a play with that. So that's going to be made up into a bed. Looking above, what do we have? Oh, doesn't want to go down, does it? Uh-oh. So unless there's a safety on that, I don't want to. Yeah, we'll show you that when we do the proper review of it. So look at this, isn't this nice? A nice little picturesque thing going on. We've got the Truma heater. It's feel a big, um, spacious area there. And then we've got the lockers and everything. And then check out the size of this bad boy. Oh my god! Look at that. So anyway, we'll get to the back. Uh, oh, I like a good sink. So we've got the uh, washroom at the back. What have we got in here? Look at that! Wow. Some storage there. And then underneath, let's just take that off. Yeah, so we've got the garage there as well. And then we've got the separate shower. So look at this. Look at it. Hey, they open. Got to, haven't we? Yeah. yeah. They open there. What a nice van. And look, look at the, look how wide it is as well. Look how wide. This is a really, really nice van. So it's a Bailey Adamo. Um, yeah, nice van. So we've got to break the rain, and I need to crack on. So tatty bye. Mm -hmm.